Well, it's amazing that actually it's been going 10 years because it seems to have uh, flown by. And I think most of us remember it starting and it's grown so much, you know, and I think now it's acknowledged as a really important aspect in people's recovery, in keeping them well, all of that. That's perfect. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>Yeah, I'm using one of these things, a tin sandwich or a gob iron. It's got a proper name, but I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, a harmonica. Uh, so I'm doing a little bit. It's uh, with the eight heavies, my brother. I'm doing the intro and a solo part. And if I get brazen, I'm just going to play anywhere. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be it was, the previous years. It's been very, very good, very good for people. It really does wonders for me to mix with other people. And today it's going to be good. So thank you, Jeff Phillips signing off. Very special for us this year because it's uh, we're coming up to 10 years of Creative Remedies. And when we think back to when we first started, we had one art group uh, with about six people attending. So today, now we at the moment we're running 11 different groups every week and we're usually attended by about 100 people. Over a year that works out about 500 different people. I just want you to give them a big, uh, big round of applause. To give them a big, uh... Absolutely fantastic. I've been involved with um, Phil and the team for lots of years now and I come to the performances every Christmas and every summer and I find it really uplifting and inspirational. I really do. I love seeing people working together, showing the confidence and just performing and loving it. It's great. What can you say about our 10 year anniversary? Fantastic. And I hope you have another 10 and more. Firstly, a really big thank you to uh, all the members who've helped create it. But um, one member is not here today because she's not very well. Um, her name's Helen and she's a really important part of our group. And um, so her lines are going to be read by Barry today. So she helped us create it, so we wanted to remember her today. And also, just want to say a huge thank you to Lucy, who came in today and has just taken on parts because we've got some new <laughs> By the year 2000, you may even be able to take your holidays on the moon. Yes? Sir, will we need a passport to go to the moon? Yeah. Mm. Will we need to go to customs? <laughs> what on earth would you need to go to customs for? Just in case you weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll try to find this. No, right. Stop! Um, right, you're right the way there. Yeah, do you think I know that? Well, clearly not. Imagine all the people.
I've come to watch Laura, and Laura's my daughter. Oh, brilliant. So, uh, what do you think of the players? What do you think of the performance? Oh, I think it's amazing. I think it's so inclusive, and you can see how much they enjoy it, and there's so much pleasure, and they put so much effort into it, because it's dead hard for them to learn all the words, but they do it, you know. And they write so, all their own. I know, they write it all themselves, yeah, yeah. and I love the humour in it. It's just so... It, it's just so clever, isn't it? And they all understand it, and like it's it's really good, isn't it? Yeah. And you love it, don't you? Laura's ace, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You've probably lost count how many players you've got with us. Is it probably three or four years? Four. I think it's yeah. four years she's been here. So, yeah. But it's lovely. Monday afternoon is drama afternoon. Just one more thing. So we're coming to ten years of Grace of Bread. Yeah. I can't believe it. And I'm sorry Laura didn't know about it before. Because Laura's 31 now. And she's only been coming for like four years. So it's been going six years and we missed out on that. And I think your confidence has grown, hasn't it? Everybody says that since she started it. So it's been amazing. Yeah, it's good. And I think Warrington are fantastic for doing it, aren't they? Yeah. Well, thanks a lot. It's so good. Is that all right? I think that's like amazing like from where it's come from like working as one group and then all these other groups are, like form now and you do badminton music photograph it I think it's media in it and then the acting I think that's like amazing how like all that's like come to where it is now and the fact it's still going and then you've managed to do like was it 13 groups a week or something like that it's pretty impressive <laughs> Okay, this is a song by uh, Dolly Parton called Jolene. Have you got Jolene? Jolene, Jolene. Well, to be honest, it's my first time to this kind of thing, guys. And uh, uh, Trish got me into it, brought me along, and uh, the people made me so welcome that when I just got into doing the arts, it felt like I'd been there for years, although I'd only been there two minutes. And uh, Jimmy made me feel so welcome, and she was so good at putting everything together that she made everything seem it wasn't a burden, it was the pressure, no stress. You just come down, relax and have a good time, meet some really nice people. I really enjoyed it. That was another thing. I really enjoyed it with Dave doing the drumming. Uh, this this thing, this Monday thing that I've done, it's the best thing I've ever done. Uh, I wish I could do more. I've met up with a speech to Pete. I'll do more in the new year. Well, to be honest, there's some of my friends in there that have come to see me today. And uh, as I've been doing the performance and trying to speak to them, and hopefully they'll take it on board and they'll come and join. Because there's plenty of opportunities for people. They're really enjoying themselves. And I'll tell you what, there's no better feeling, no buzz in the world than what I'm doing in there. Peace with you, mate. <laughs>